Hey guys, what's up? My name is The Cool Mike and welcome back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be reacting or reviewing the, uh, what you call, the Mega Constructs Halo 20th Anniversary Pack. And from the time of the, uh, from the title of this video, you guys already know that I actually didn't buy the set. Uh, for some, uh, for many reasons, basically. Um, I am, um, and I know a lot of people who's gonna be watching this is gonna be disappointed in me why I did not buy this rare set. I actually could buy it, I just don't wanna buy it because, uh, I have no reason to buy it because I have, uh, what you call, I have some of the figures that I like here. I don't like all the figures, basically. Because uh, some of the figures are rare, or basically oh, everything in this set is actually rare. Um, I am planning to buying it, but currently no, I am not. I, I'm not. I'm still not convinced on buying the set. So I do have some pictures from the internet, basically, uh, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, the set, what I like and what I don't like about the set, why I did not buy it in the first place. And just basically what you call sharing you guys my thoughts of um, how Mega or how, how Mega Constructs could have improved this set to convince most people or other people like me to buy the set. So basically I actually uh, just downloaded some pictures, some high res pictures, the best pictures that I could find in the internet about the set. And yeah, uh, we're gonna be reviewing it. So basically, this composes basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 uh, minifigures. If you, if you consider the Mr. Chief uh, meme, I have no idea the reference that, on that one. And then there's the basically the Cortana miniature, basically. And the, I forgot the name of the... Uh, yeah, the 34 Guilty Spark, 343 Guilty Spark, basically. I'm not a big uh, Halo fan, basically. I, the reason why I collect Halo uh, sets is because I love the figurines. But uh, uh, I know a lot of people are gonna hate me because I never played Halo before. I am familiar about the Halo universe. I know most of it. I've seen the games. I've watched some of it. I've watched the TV series, not that the TV series on uh what you call paramount is i guess uh what you call uh what you call uh i forget the term but not not sure if how well uh what you call how only uh how they, they how the paramount TV series halo stick with the original game because i'm pretty sure there's a di there's a bunch of difference basically but or how basically how original the Paramount or how well the, the, the Paramount TV series stick with the originals of the game basically. But yeah, um, uh, it includes basically Cortana, 340 Guilty Spark, Sergeant uh, Johnson, I believe, uh, Miranda Keys, um, uh, the Prophet of uh, Mercy. I forgot uh, what you call, yeah, these these are the sets it includes, basically, it includes five golden, uh, what you call, um, figurines, which I will be sharing my thoughts about it, so it includes the golden version of Atriox, Atriox, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, Spartan Lock or Agent Lock for some people, uh, the golden version, Cortana, gold, in gold version, uh, what you call Master Chief, and Arbiter in gold version. It also includes this, uh, what you call, a mean version of Mr. Chief or Master Chief, I, I don't know. I actually don't know the reference to the Mr. Chief, why they created the figure like that, and why it was requested. So let me guys know where, where this picture came from, because I am not familiar with it. Uh, obviously the Cortana in purple, the Guilty Spark, with 340 Guilty Spark, Sergeant Johnson, which is one of the figures that I have actually uh, wanted to have and one reason why I want to buy this set but I'm still doubting uh, I'm still uh, basically thinking about it because how expensive this set is um, around the keys which is a, a very rare figurine I believe there's only a few sets basically uh, I believe two sets um, uh, two sets basically that uh, that should that obviously she has come out 
Uh, we have um, Cesar Refume. Refume. I am probably trash trashing these names, so I really deeply apologize for that. Um, Refume, Refume. I don't know. Uh, Cesar Refume. We uh, basically uh, Artas Vadun, which looks like the Arbiter, but is probably not. Uh, obviously, Prophet of. Uh, oh no! I I said Mercy. It's Prophet of Regret, basically. So the Prophet of Regret. Uh, I thought it was the blue one. So yeah, uh, no, it's the purple one. That's why I was confused. So yeah, Prophet of Regret. Uh, we have uh, what you call Mickey. Uh, the ODST, ODST Mickey. Uh, uh, what you call? We also have uh, Dare Ani. Um, the the amazing rare uh, Spartan Carter uh, from the Noble Team, uh, and then Spartan Emil also from the Noble Team. Another Master Chief with the original green color armor, uh, Spartan Linda. I forgot what team she is with uh, Master Chief, and then Spart Spartan Jerome, basically from the Noble Team. Uh, all right, uh, so there is uh, so that's basically the set, and obviously it includes a bunch of accessories. The chain breaker. I have no idea what the chain breaker is. Uh, where's that? Uh, Battle Rifle, Energy Swords, Gold and Purple for the Arbiter, and Artem Vadum. Uh, the Kukai Knife, I, I'm pretty sure that's not, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. The Kukai Knife from uh, Emil, Spartan. There's the Golden Magnum. Uh, who is the Golden Magnum here? Oh yeah, uh, Master Chief. The Stockholm uh, Pistol, which I believe had, uh, from uh, Derani. The Sticky de Detonator, I have no idea where that's uh, from, I believe that's from Master Chief. Tactical Shotgun from, I'm guessing, Spartan Emil. Energy Sword, uh, Assault Rifle, uh, the QMA, which I'm pretty sure from Spartan Carter. Uh, DMA, I believe, that QMA. SMG for uh, Miranda Keys. The Spartan Laser for Jerome, uh, two Plasma Rifles for Cesar Refume, uh, Spart uh, a Spartan Sniper for Spartan Linda, uh, no, Sniper Rifle for Spartan Linda, and Rocket Launcher for, I believe, uh, Spartan or ODSD Mickey. Uh, there's also the Blue Assault Rifle for the Mr. Chief. Chain Breaker, I have no idea what the Chain Breaker is. Uh, I believe that's from Atriox. And then there's the battle rifle for Spartan Lock, right? I think that's most part. Uh, basically, assault rifle for uh, uh, Sergeant Johnson. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, the sets include golden figurines. Which uh, here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna go with the a uh, good uh, what you call uh what you call the good side about this set, and then I'll go with the bad side why I did not buy the set. Good side. Um, Mega Constructs did a, an amazing job of releasing rare figurines that is more affordable and more accessible to fans and uh, to those people who wanted to buy uh, the mini figurines uh, without buying separate sets. Because Sergeant Johnson, I believe, only came out in a few sets. Basically, the uh, I forgot the carrier. The old version of Sergeant Johnson with the light green armor. Uh, I forgot what set that is. Uh, what you call? Basically, it's the carrier with the uh, not with the prophet. Basically, yeah. Here it goes. The basically the set, the anniversary set, which is the Haraki Shadows Convoy. Yep, the Haraki. The Herarch, Herar I'm pronouncing it terrible. The Herarch's Shadow Convoy. So that's that was the first uh, set that released Sergeant Johnson, and with the old style, uh, well, not the old articulation, but the old color, not as detailed. Uh, what you call? Not as detailed uh, version of Sergeant Johnson, basically. Uh, but uh, unlike this one, which is the new version, um, um, Miranda Keys, uh, what you call, bum, 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 bum. uh, Miranda Keys is also a rare figurine. She only came out in two sets. 
uh, one of which has not be even been released. Morality Keys is only available for this set, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this set alone, and uh, I believe the new set is gonna be released on on fall of 2022, which is the Unto Dawn set, which is a ship uh, collectible forward Unto Dawn set that has been announced by different YouTubers. I'm not trying to buy the set just to get the Miranda keys because I'm not really into the ships part. I'm more into the uh, figurines and the vehicles, like the tanks and the, the what you call the war togs, basically. Uh, obviously, uh, we also have Spartan Jerome from the Noble Team. Here's the thing, I have almost every um, Noble Team except for two. Spartan Emil and Spartan Jerome. Those are the only two sets that are only two figures that, from the Noble Team that I don't currently have. And I'm not even trying to collect the Noble Team. Basically, I only collect uh, my favorite figurines. I'm not really that hardcore or die fan to collect every main character in Mega Constructs Halo or in the Halo universe, basically. Uh, so, uh, by accident, I have almost everything except for Emil and Jerome. Uh, we also have basically uh, what you call Ce Cesar Refine, which I'm pretty sure I'm ruining the name. Uh, Cesar Refine uh, with the new uh, Covenant armor, uh, I believe. Um, Artas Badum, uh, basically. And then the Prophet of Regret. I was gonna say Mercy for some reason, but no, it's the Prophet of Regret, basically. Uh, Prophet of Regret. I'm pretty sure there are only three Prophets. The Mercy, the Truth, and the Regret, right? Uh, so that, uh, I believe that's another rare figurine. Uh, one, uh, one thing that I really want to have as well. Um, obviously they have Mickey, Odyssey Mickey, uh, Derani, Spartan Carter, which is a lot of people really love, uh, Spartan Emil, Master Chief, and Spartan Linda. Uh, and then obviously the golden ones, which is uh, what you call Arbiter, Cortana, uh, another rare figurine, which is basically Spartan Lock. Um, a lot, a lot, I'm pretty sure Atriox is not a rare set because Atriox is basically uh, one of the main characters that is accessible to many sets. Uh, the uh, what you call. I believe she, he, uh, Atriox has been released about more or less two to three Halo Heroes sets. Um, um, uh, a lot, and then this one, which is the golden version apparently, and then basically the uh, I forgot what set was that the the one where he's with uh, what you call uh, Spartan. Uh, bu -bu -bu I forgot. Spartan Frederick, there we go. This is the, uh, I believe this is the, uh, Mega Constructs, uh, what you call, I forgot the name of the set. It is the Chopper Takedown, which doesn't involve a helicopter, but it's the called the Chopper Takedown. That includes basically Spartan, uh, Jerome. No, not Spartan Jerome, but Spartan Fred. There you go. I keep mistaking. Spartan Thread and Aatrox, which is another set that you could buy both two name figurines. I'm planning to buy that set in the future, hopefully, but currently, no. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be saving money. I do have a lot of sets that I'm gonna be reviewing, including some rare ones. Uh, and then uh, Cortana and then Master Chief in gold. Okay, so good news. Uh, one good thing about the set is, um, well, it's not affordable anymore uh, since the, uh, uh, the set has become more expensive over time uh, because of people buying it and then basically uh, scalpers reselling the set on eBay for twice or three times the the price of the actual box. I believe the original price when this came out was somewhere around fifty to a hundred dollars. Now I see people selling this for three hundred dollars. Uh, some, if you're lucky, at least two hundred dollars, basically. Obviously accessories. Um, so yeah, uh, one good reason to buy the set is uh, Mega Constructs did a good job of releasing basically just the fig the rare figurines 
of the amazing uh, rare uh, figurines for an amazing accessible to the fans or to the collectors basically uh, what you call of the well-known name figurines uh, to fans uh, releasing it in a more accessible way rather than buying separate sets for each one uh, because some of the sets basically is rare or hasn't even come out in one of the sets like um, Miranda Keys only came out in two sets one is this one and the other one hasn't even released it uh, Cesar Refume I believe has been released uh, what you call in a set before which is the Banshee I forgot what set that was, but a lot of people are with the Arbiter basically. Um, uh, Prophet of Regret, I haven't seen him basically. I've seen sets that has the Prophet of Truth, the red one. I have Spartan Mickey, but the old, or old articulation, uh, not the newer one. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Spartan Mickey has been released with the uh, Halo Heroes. Uh, their Oni has been released in uh, Halo Heroes. I do have it. I bought it basically. I did I did do a review about it because I love the color scheme of yes this uh, what you call Spec Ops color dark gray. Obviously one of my favorite from the Noble Team which is Spartan Carter. Very hard to find. Another rare figurine. Uh, Emil, uh, Spartan Linda, which is, which only came out in a few sets, basically two of the Halo Heroes, I believe, one of the Halo Heroes, and I think the newer one will release a different color of Spartan Linda in white, I could be wrong, or was it Spartan Kelly? I'm not sure. Uh, um, another Master, uh, Master Chief, which, um, yeah, sure, but I'm pretty sure people these days have enough of smart, uh, uh, Master Chief because there's a lot of sets where you could technically buy him uh, obviously enough because he's a very main character Spartan Jerome from uh, what you call uh, Spartan Jerome only came from a few sets I believe from the Halo Heroes I think they have released Spartan Jerome in this one I'm not sure if there's any more sets that came out with him uh, Spartan Carter came in a few sets basically uh, Halo Heroes is one. I think there's one with the big truck. I forgot what what name that is. Uh, what uh, the one with the crane uh, set. But uh, that's the old version, basically. But still the new articulation. Uh, and then uh, in the gold version, basically another Master Chief, which not a good idea to release two Master Chief in the uh, in the set. That's a waste for me. Uh, uh, with basically a Cortana in gold uh, which you call Spartan Lock which I'm not not everyone's favorite but I actually love Spartan Lock uh, Arbiter obviously a lot of people love that and then Atriox Mist and then obviously the Mr. Chief um, so yeah that's one good uh, reason to buy the set to get all these figurines uh, number two is they're all detailed which is nice they're all the new articulation all detailed um uh pretty much uh those are the only good side now the bad side uh what you call bad side the first bad side about this set is uh what you call the production uh, a lot of people know or at least some people know that mega constructs or mega in general is terrible in production um terrible in production uh whether it's spare parts basically or basically they produce parts that have missing um, pieces or sets that have missing pieces uh, another terrible part is their production is terrible in distributing or distribution of sets across the world uh, which is why scalpers take advantage of that because they can easily scalp sets and then sell them on ebay for three uh three times the price easily because the, of the production um Mega Constructs or Mega in general is terrible in re releasing sets because they're hard to find Especially there are countries that no longer sell them um, One of my countries which I live from no longer sell Mega Constructs sets locally inside my country Which is why I have to buy them uh, outside of my country Which is why some of the sets that I review are actually with either came from uh, Canada, France, US or the nearest would be China and uh, what you call the shipping fee is uh, is not friendly it is, especially during the pandemic it is uh it is a nightmare it is a torture for buyers or for collectors like me 
um, especially if because it's just super costly. Um, and then obviously scalpers would abuse the production, basically abuse the production, and then s- because uh, they, uh, I don't know what's wrong with Mega or Mega Construct that they, but they release really sets in a small amounts, basically. Or if they release it in big amounts, they release it in uh, what you call in separate times that uh, what you call scalpers would be buying all of them and then selling them on a higher price, uh, which is not a good sign for Mega Constructs or Mega because yeah, it's not it doesn't become affordable to the uh, consumers because of the. Um, the gap when they release the sets for some reason they're just terrible in releasing sets either they get delayed they lock parts or have missing parts or basically the number of stock that they release is not enough basically they don't release enough sets to satisfy the consumers they only release a few amounts of them and if they release huge amounts of them there's always this big gap that you have to wait for months or even years, basically. Uh, that's one bad side about it. Another side that I was disappointed about the set was alternate heads. One reason why I bought Their Ani and Spartan Carter separately rather than buying the 20th anniversary pack was the alternate heads. The alternate heads, even just in small little head plastic, is basically amazing because they don't release it in other sets uh you don't see alternate heads for their oni and spartan carter for other sets they only release it on halo heroes which i believe halo heroes if you sell the spartan carter on the 20th anniversary pack and then the uh, spartan carter on the halo heroes one the halo heroes one on my opinion in my personal opinion would would value more uh, other than uh, compared to the Spartan Carter uh, what you call from the 20th anniversary pack because of the head mold which is a mold that uh, Mega Constructs doesn't really make it's only exclusive for the Halo Heroes of Spartan Carter so same goes for the head mold of their awning which is why the main reason why I bought those two Halo Heroes rather than the 20th anniversary pack because of the head mold alone they could have made this more popular by selling the head molds because those are amazing for dioramas the head molds they could make alternate head alternate head molds for um uh mickey odesty their oni spartan carter even emil and linda uh and probably jerome or master chief that would have made that would have made me buy the set Basically, that would have convinced me to buy the set because of the head modes alone because that would have been perfect for dioramas, uh, basically for alternative, alternative heads. So that's that's one downside about this set that they could have added. They could easily add it for just a small price of making plastic head modes, alternative head modes for the set, but they didn't. So that's a downside for me. Another thing that I didn't like about the set was the golden ones. Uh, a lot of people probably would love the golden ones, but for most people, it's a waste of plastic. You could have sold them the original colors and that would have made it way better. The golden ones are just basically painted in gold. And that's it. That's a waste of figurines. No one's gonna display them because they're in gold. People would love the, the original colors for the dioramas. I would have bought this set if they had the original colors not the golden ones because they're less detailed they're just basically sprayed gold or painted gold and that ruins the details on the figurines it's not uh, uh. and painting them obviously you can just say you can just paint them back but that's a lot of hard work especially for people who can't even paint minifigures i can't basically i've I've never ever in my entire life uh experienced painting minifigures because i'm terrible at painting them I would not dare uh, paint paint figures. I would rather buy custom ones. But my God, it's a waste because some of the sets are amazing and rare, including the Spartan Lock, which is only available for I believe two sets. One is the ship one. I forgot uh, uh, what you call. Uh... Oh no, 
no, it's available for, uh, what you call, for, uh, three sets, basically, I believe, uh, no, I, I guess four sets now. The Series 15, which has the uh, alternate head mold, which they could have also done here. The alternate head mold of Spartan Lock, that would be nice, I would have bought that. Uh, they also have the Mega Constructs uh, Fire Team Osiris, which it included basically Spartan uh, Spartan Lock, uh, and then the uh, the ship, which I forgot the name, and that is none other than the UNSC Vulture Gunship, which includes the Spartan Lock. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, the gold part. If this wasn't in gold, if this was the original colors from the. Uh, uh, original colors like the transparent blue for Cortana, the dark blue for Spartan Lock, the silver armor for uh, Arbiter, the original color for the black armor for Atriox, and then I guess the green color uh, for Master Chief. I would have bought the set easily because of the of of these figures. Uh, these figures for me have more value than any of the figures. Basically, aside from uh, the uh, Covenant one, which is the Prophet of Regret, uh, Cesar Refine, and uh, what you call Artus Vedum. But this set would have made if they, if they have the original colors rather than the gold, would have made me would have convinced me to buy the set. But because of the gold ones, that literally changed my perspective of buying the set. So yeah, that's one reason why I didn't buy the set. They should have not basically sell the sets in gold. They should have stick with the original colors that would have made the set even more valuable. Aside from the head molds, the alternative head molds which they could have added with, uh, with you call with Spartan. Uh, Locke, Daron, Spartan Carter, and probably added uh, some for Linda, Emil, Master Chief, and Mickey. So yeah, um, okay. And another downside about the set is not just the head, uh, uh, the lack of head molds and the golden ones was because of two things. There are two Master Chiefs in the set. For so it's a waste. You could easily get Master Chief. In, I have. Here's the thing, uh, it's weird because I already have two Master Chiefs, one from the old articulation from the, uh, I believe the, uh, what you call, the old articulation Master, Master Chief, which is, which came from the, uh, what you call, uh, I forgot what set that is, oh uh, yeah, the Cryo Bay, yeah. I have the uh, original, uh, the first Master Chief from the Cryo Bay, and then the Halo Heroes Master Chief. They have released at least three versions of Master Chief uh, in Halo Heroes, uh, from the Mark V armor, from the original Mar uh, Mark V uh, or Mark IV armor with the flamethrower, and then just the Master Chief alone, even with the gold rifle. I actually have already a Master Chief, uh, the new articulation one, not the rare one, but still. Uh, yeah, um, easily accessible, and then they not only added one in the set, they have added two. One in gold and one in the original color, which is a waste. A big waste. And then the other downside is the Mr. Chief. I have no idea why they had to add a Mr. Chief. Uh, why? I have no idea why they have to add, uh, what you call, this guy. What's the deal with this guy? No one's gonna put it in the... I guess some people would still love it, but no one's gonna add it in the... in the dioramas. I could be wrong. Probably it's a high requested figurine, but... Why? Why? That's a waste. That's a waste of plastic. I have no idea what's the deal with that. That could be a popular meme or something, or from a game that I have no idea where. That looks like uh, from... Uh, from an old school game from uh, what you call on the internet. I forgot what it's called From Newgrounds basically. It's, it, came, it looks like it came from Newgrounds But why? So um, My advice would be uh, ra rather than this I mean and then another Master Chief here and another uh, what you call another Master Chief which is in gold 
they could have basically replaced it with some of the rare sets which is basically I guess um, uh, what you call where is it they could have re replaced this with Spartan Fred that's a nice um, and then Spartan Veil uh, would be nice or basically Spartan Kelly or Spartan Tanaka uh, uh, that would have made the set and uh, another figurine that would have made the set better even though it's not a rare set would be probably uh, one of the things that I would love is basically the um, the elite honor guard basically in red uh, I, a lot of people love the uh, light of Sang Helios the white one but I prefer the red one the red one speaks more to me I believe the red one is more uh, detail uh, and more cooler looking basically uh, so yeah uh, they would have added if they have added uh, rather than three master chiefs uh, Mr. Chief, Master Chief in gold, and then the original Master Chief. Other, other than that, they would have replaced it with Spartan Fred, basically Spar uh, Spartan Veil, uh, Spartan Kelly, uh, or even added another uh, or just one Elite Honor Guard that would have made the set more perfect for me to buy. And then obviously with the alternative heads, and then using the original colors for the figurines rather than the gold ones that kind of ruin it for me. That would have made the set what you call viable on my part or even added another profit basically um they could have just literally added all three profits that would have made it more amazing because profits are very hard to find i only have one of them basically i think i have the profit of truth the red one uh, from the halo heroes line that's one of my rare figurines but uh yeah so yeah, uh, pretty much those are uh, what you call uh, what you call um, my uh, the reasons why I did not buy the set. I am planning to buy the set in the future, but it's not my priority right now. I re I really wish they have released a different version of this with alternative heads, with the new uh, with using the new original color scheme of these figurines, and. Um, basically and uh what you call and uh with more new rare sets replacing the master chief ones which it's not really that rare anymore to buy a master chief you can easily buy a master chief it's so easy to buy you can still buy it for a cheap price uh they're not that rare anymore um but yeah uh, pretty much that is my review and the main reason why I did not some of the uh, I already told you guys the reason why I did not buy the Mega Constructs Halo 20th Anniversary Pack. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do uh, what you call let me guys know by leaving a like, uh, leaving a like, uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't. Let me guys know if you buy the set and uh, if you love the set and why uh, what you call if you don't have the set let me know why. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is still available online to the right uh, to the right seller because there will be people who would be abusing, basically scalping the crap out of the set because this is still a wantable for most people who collect figurines for the Halo line. This is still uh, what you call a very rare set uh, for and a bit an amazing set for some or for most people to have. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the Cool Mike signing off. Goodbye.